Hi, I'm Chad Thomas, and I'm one of the owners at Ayo de Mani Boutique in Los Cabos, Mexico. Just to give you a little history about who we are and how we got here, we have been in Los Cabos for over 20 years, and within that 20 years, we decided to open up an amazing boutique that caters to women in Los Cabos, whether they're living here full-time or tourists just passing through. It's an amazing boutique. You'll find all kinds of things of luxury consignment, new retail, special orders, and it's also just a great place for women to come in and bond and meet other women. So we hope to see you here at Ayo Damani, but I would love to tell you a little bit more about living internationally. Um, as I mentioned, we had moved here about 20 years ago, um, living in various communities of La uh, Carencia, Diamante, Puerto Los Cabos. So we've been all over Los Cabos. So I am pretty uh, familiar with what it takes to live internationally. Let's talk about visa requirements. That is probably one of the most important things that you'll need when considering to live internationally. When I decided to live in Mexico, that's one of the things my family and I discussed about the living requirements. If we were going to make this transition here full time, we needed to understand that we needed more than just the tourist visa. Your tourist visa within Mexico can last you about 180 days and then you do have to leave again. If you're planning on buying real estate and really entrenching yourself into the community, you definitely need more than a tourist visa. So please do your research on checking what the requirements are for getting a visa. Um, there's all kinds of information you can search within the internet. Um, you can also look on the uh, website for Windermere Los Cabos that'll give you more information about visa requirements. My second tool that is really important for you to research is banking and tax obligations when you're deciding to live anywhere internationally. Here within Mexico, as many of you may know, that it's a 16% tax here. But most people don't understand about the tax obligation, which can range up to 35%, depending on if you're a resident or non-resident. So this is very important to meet with your accountant to, to talk about all the arrangements you'll need for making sure you're paying your tax obligations in your resident location and then also in your new location. This way you're not double, double taxed on, on your income there. In addition, when opening up a bank account internationally, it can be one of the most frustrating things. It's, it's not like being in your home in your home country. There's a lot of paperwork that, that takes place when opening up a bank account. So make sure you consult someone that's very educated on being able to open a bank. And another good tip is finding banks that, that translate into where you're from. So great banks like BBVA Bancomer, Santander, those are all amazing banks that are international, um, you'll want to be able to, to have an account with someone that can do transfers internationally. Another great digital bank that I've loved is TransferWise. They give you live, real-time uh, fees and in, in, in the information about how to transfer money wherever you are in the world. The third topic to focus on is healthcare and insurance. This is a big, big one, guys that you really must consider. There's a lot of people that move down to Mexico because they do have amazing health care here. Um, I can contest that I've, I've had some health, uh, health um, situations here that I, I have loved the health care system here. Um, they have a lot of the public and private um, hospitals here. Um, they're very affordable. Um, they have private insurance as well. So again, it's just about doing your research and finding what works well for your family and just just digging a little bit further. Also too, ask people around you. They that, that have insurance or healthcare that have experience, that's gonna be your best bet. Relocating with children is another topic that many people kind of forget about and that's very important when you're gonna move your family to a new international location. Doing some really in-depth research on the schools in the area. International schools are, are great of uh, tools for your children that can entrench them into the culture, learning the, the native language, also as English as well. So you'll definitely need to take the resources around you, check what people that have brought their kids down here that are in school um, and ask their opinion, go visit the schools. You'll definitely need to know this before you make that final transition. And the last topic that I would love to touch on is developing a support network. Guys, I cannot stress how important it is wherever you move in the world, I don't care if it's right next door, 
you need to make sure you have a really good support system. When you're visiting Los Cabos, meet friends and people, get their phone numbers, get their emails, sign up with groups on Facebook. You need to have a support network here to kind of help you through things. There are going to be plenty of things that you won't know. You're not going to learn everything overnight, but having that support group is really going to help you to make this feel like home. Finally, I would like to say thank you so much for watching this video and thank you Windermere Los Cabos for, for being here and featuring uh, Ayo Damani in this video. And I do hope you've learned some tips. If you have any questions, you can follow up more at windermirelosCabos.com or you can also visit www.iodamani.com as well.